Yesterday Samsung released the first One UI 7 beta guys and it's not out yet in a lot of countries You can get it in the US, in Korea, I think in Germany But in this video I'm gonna show you how to do so because a lot of users want me to do so So guys, it's not so hard First thing you need to do, just go on XDA, right? I'm gonna link the thread down below Inside there are gonna be links to the One UI 7 beta update For example, if you have the S24 Ultra you need to be on this firmware, this One UI 6.1. It's actually 6.1.1 functionality, but it's 6.1 if you don't have a foldable device. So anyway, if you do have an S24 and you are on the AXK4 firmware, then you should go and download this file. If you do have the S24 Plus, it's this file. And in my case, I do have the S24 Ultra, already using it with One UI 7. Now that the file is downloaded, we need to rename it, guys. As yes, we have to just go hit F2 or whatever you do and rename it as update.zip. Now guys, there are various methods. I'm gonna show you the one that I'm using, which requires the phone to go into recovery mode, and then I'm going to push or sideload the update via ADB. So for that one, of course, you're gonna need another tool, and this tool is called the SDK Platform Tool. You can run it on Windows or Mac. How do you know that you have the platform tools installed? You know, just open, your start button here, press CMD, this will open a command prompt, okay? And usually you have to go in program files x86 and then you just type something like that. This is the directory, all right? Let me show you guys. Here we have all the required tools that come from the platform tools. It's not only ADB, it's Fastboot and some other things. This is the tool that we use to connect to the phone. But before connecting to the phone, you need to go inside your developer settings and make some adjustments. So the first thing you need to do is to get your developer's options. If you don't know how to do so, just go check it. It's very easy, you have to tap seven times on the build number, then developer's options are going to be enabled. And then guys, you need to turn the USB debugging on. There is something called USB debugging. You have to click this on. Then you need to hook up USB-C cable to your PC, just connect it to the phone, all right? And then guys, just go back to the command prompt just clear the screen and type ADB devices, all right? Right now you can see that my device is attached. If you're doing this for the first time, there's gonna be a pop-up message on the phone requesting you to allow connection from your computer. Just select allow or always allow, then type ADB devices. And now we can go to the next step. Go inside system C program files x86, platform tools or whatever you decide to install the platform tools and make sure to move the update zip file there. And if I do a search, we're gonna see that we have the zip file here. This is the update zip. So once you have your phone connected and the update zip renamed and stored here, just type ADB reboot recovery, all right? Don't disconnect your phone, guys. Now your phone is going to reboot in the recovery menu. And from there, it's very easy. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I do. And if you do the same steps, hopefully it's gonna work for you. So this is the recovery menu, guys. You can navigate with the volume slider. So down means going down, up means going up. Select apply update from ADB and then hit the power button. The power button is going to be the confirmation. So now the phone will tell you, send the package you want to apply to the device with ADB sideload file name. Don't do anything. Okay, just type ADB sideload update zip. And the moment you hit enter, the ADB will now sideload the update. Then hopefully your phone will restart and you will have the One UI 7 beta one. Now just have in mind guys, once you do that, right, you're not gonna be part of the official beta and you also are not going to get officially over the air updates with beta. Maybe just when the final product is ready, you're gonna get a stable one. So this means that once you do so, you need to sideload the beta two, the beta three, and all the other firmware. So again, please proceed with caution. It's beta one, probably still not perfect. So only do this if you really want to experience One UI 7 beta on your S24 or Plus or Ultra phone. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you wanna see more about One UI 7 beta and direct comparison with ColorOS 15 and HypeOS 2, well, just go and watch some of my other videos. Stay safe, VST over, and bye.